This video is part of our How to Apply for Licensure as a Professional Engineer in Texas video series. Viewing any or all of these videos is intended only as a brief overview of the application process and is in no way comprehensive. We recommend watching the complete series in order. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be covering the ethics exam requirements. This exam is designed to assert that applicants are familiar with the TBPE laws and rules. It can be taken online at our website. This exam is open booked, multiple choice, covers TBPE laws and rules. And has a passing requires a passing grade of 90%. In order to log in, all you need is your first name, last name, and last four. Click login. If you've been here before, you'll get a welcome back. All right, for this exam, as mentioned earlier, you'll need to reference the TBPE laws and rules. That is the open book portion of it. In order to get those, you can get them right here after you log in. I prefer PDF. During the exam, you'll be able to reference these. Once you have your laws and rules, go ahead and click continue here at the bottom. There are 25 questions on this exam and they all follow the same format. You will read the scenario, then you'll read the question, and then you will select the best answer. Once you've chosen your answer, you can click on the Submit Answer button, or if you're ready to take a break and come back later, you can use the Save and Log Out feature, and you'll be able to log back in with your name and last four. Please note that you can't change an answer once it's submitted. However, you can retake the exam as many times as needed. Once you have completed your exam with a passing grade, your reviewer will be able to look up your exam electronically. There is also an option to take the ethics exam as a paper exam. This can be downloaded on our website, on our downloads page. Please note that you'll need the answer sheet questions, and of course we have a link to the TBPE laws and rules. Once you complete your paper exam, you can mail it to the board at the following address. That concludes this video, and as always, thank you for watching.